Hey everybody, I'm going to be playing Don't Take It Personally, Babe, It's Just Ain't Your Story. I am a high school teacher in a high school drama. My name, my character's name is John Rooks, and it takes place in 2027 in Japan, I believe. So yeah, there's not going to be that much editing, so it's going to be about 40 minutes or less. And it's just going to be me reading the subtitles and whatnot. So if you don't want drama, you don't want to hear me talk, then watch something else on YouTube. Alright, so here you go. There are, of course, some mistakes that you can see coming from miles ahead. Mistakes that you should have known better to make. There are mistakes where you realize as you go along that things are just getting worse. I've made a lot of those mistakes in life. But then... There are almost mistakes that you will never see coming. You just have to leap in head first, and all you can do is hope it's not one of those days. Oh, man, I cannot read well. Hope that your decision doesn't turn out to be a mistake. So yeah, it's just going to be me talking. So if you don't want to watch, it's going to be like 30 minutes long. But it's about drama, and yeah. So yeah. It's going to be uncut, so I'm not going to be editing that much. And it's on the high note that I start my first day of school. Chapter 1. The Trouble with Trials Yes, I'm nervous and I don't think there's much shame in that. The classroom is full by the time I arrive. I stare at the sea of unfamiliar faces that their eye piercing as they stare back. Look at all those uniforms. It's outright imitating. Oh, all right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, October 18th. It's the day after my birthday. So yeah, it takes place in the future. Alright, now isn't the time to be scared of 11th graders, though. Oh my god, is that our new homeroom teacher? So hot. Thanks, baby girl. I take a deep breath and introduce myself to my new class. Good morning, everyone. I'm Mr. Rook, and starting today, I'll be taking over as your homeroom teacher. Mouth into the year. Oh, <laughs> month into the year. Apparently, their proper teacher became seriously sick and is on an extended leave. They poisoned him. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, ah, I didn't read it. All right. Wow, I didn't know teachers could look that out. He'll do. Ooh. Let me just... Ooh, yeah. Oh, four years old. Atheist. Liberal. Single. Is this a real phone number? I doubt it, but I'm gonna check out later on. Single. Okay. Oh. Let's live our lives heroically. Let's live them with style. Oh, okay, so these are not the teachers. These are the students. Wait. Why do I have 30... See desk if I have only like six students. Oh well. Uh blah blah female. Oh lesbo. Okay, lesbian. Be excellent to each other. Lotix very single. Alright, Taylor. Ooh. Funny, I'm cute. Get to know me first. Four years. Boys, atheist. Uh has person blah blah. Charlotte, there's more to people than pity, uh, pity profile quotes. Uh, Buddhism, single, liberal. Isabella. The trick is to keep breathing. Female, interested, dot, dot, dot. Uh, I dream of just society, relation status. No. Don't phone me, I never use it. Ah, <sighs> Nolan. What's there to say? Male, into girls, Christian, fuck politics, just be righteous. Single. Um, oh, wait, 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 time enough to break me so that even in a blizzard, I won't feel cold. Aw. Oh. oh, he's the youngest here. Okay, girls, burning justice, not interested. Huh. Oh, okay, I think that's all it. What is this, nothing? Okay. First, I'm going to take attendance, so I have some idea who you all are. After that, I'll tell you a bit about myself. Then, we can get started. Hopefully enough, the class list is available on my computer. 
and a glowing mail icon tells me that I have unread messages, which I can read anytime and probably sh should soon. Oh, okay. What's this? Oh, okay. Emails from the administrator. I already read this, so go ahead and take a pause. Go ahead, take a pause. Well, here goes. Sorry in advance if I pronounce any of these words, well, these wrong. Ariana Bella S.A. <laughs> Alright. That's a cute name. Candle Flowers. Sup, sir. Good. Taylor Gibson. I'm here. So you are. Next. Sorry. Charlotte Graywall. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Present. Just checking. How about Isabella Hart? Nobody says anything, or at least not that I can hear, but a girl near the back of the class waves. Okay, Isabella is at the back. Nolan's... Not gonna even pronounce it. No answer. Nolan. Is Nolan here? Uh, oh, oh, of course. That's your kind of man, Taylor. Someone taps on the shoulder of one of the boys strong. Nolan, say something. It's attendance. Oh, here. Your profile pic looks a lot different than what you look like now. Alright, and Akira Yamasaki. Here. Oh, nice sleeves, son. Oh, wow, nice colors there. I realize the school's uniform policy is really more like a suggestion. But, wow. Alright, great. I go through the entire class list, and it looks like everyone is here. After all, now I just have to start remembering the faces. In and intros in order. So, this will be interesting. I'm the world's biggest fucked up. I've managed to screw up a whole two marriages, and became a teacher because of bizarre midlife crisis. I'm looking forward to working with you all. It's probably not what I should say. This will actually be my first full-time teaching job. I study English literature in university, but I've spent the past 15 years working in computers, which I hope should serve as warning to anyone who plans to go into computers. It is bleak, boring work, but here I am now. I'm not a hard ass, and I never liked teachers who were when I was your age. If for any for any any reason whatsoever you're having trouble boy there is cat manual blop up up with your fellow students or really anything talk to me I'm flexible and that's what I'm here for let me just read these messages first I think that everyone kind of everyone's kind of mad listen to that he's totally tus mex I don't know what that is it's 2027 get with the new trend son I think I like our new homery teacher. He seems like he'll be nice. Thanks, green sleeve guy. I'm here. I'm in my office most of the days of school, so just ask. No matter what it about, even it seems trivial. Yeah, I'm not going to be any of the assholes that I had for the teachers in high school. That's for sure. Regardless, I'm looking forward to working with you all. I look over the the class and I can tell that they look vaguely impressed. I didn't expect anything more. Well now it's time to get started on the boring things like going over the syllabus. The next day. John. Okay, as I explained yesterday, today we're going to be starting our unit on Pulp Fiction with the novel Chain Mail. I'm also John, Mr. Rook, John Rook. Can I see a show of hands for everyone who actually did the homework last night? Everyone, every hand in the room goes up and it stays there. I would hope so. It was only 40. 40? Oh, 40 very short pages. Alright, so what are your initial impressions of the premise? Obviously, this novel that is fundamentally about an early era of internet culture. Do you think it seems relatable, unrelatable? Silence all around. Just your general thoughts. There's no right or wrong answer here. 
But before I continue, I really think, oh, I really should check those messages. The indicator blinking one. So can someone explain to me what exactly is up with these lesbians this week? All I see is a bunch of status updates and a whole lot of drama. What's different now? Question mark. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm my, I must be 30 years old, but it's alright. But before I... Okay. There we go. I should be caught up enough now. Anyone? After a bit of hesitation, the hand of the girl with pigtails and glasses goes up. It takes me a moment to remember her name. Charlotte? Who should I call on to answer? Huh. Okay, um. So. Uh. We have Charlotte, the smart girl, and Taylor, the. Why should I call on Taylor? Uh. I don't know, I don't want to embarrass anyone, I want to make friends, so I'm going to pick on Charlotte. As much as I am tempted to pick on- oh, <laughs> for not paying- Oh, I sh- uh, I should have picked on Taylor. What? Yes, Charlotte? Well, it seems like it's all really disconnected, isn't it? Everything's all about emails and one private website? That's very surprising. What about the str that struck you as surprising? Specifically, how the girl wasn't able to reach out to anyone because she didn't know anyone's email addresses. It feels very disconnected, lonely. It wouldn't make much sense to have a story like that now. She could have just posted on her classmate's wall. Interesting. So, would you say it's oh my God, inherently more lonely because of the technology? I don't know. Maybe? That's okay, you can sit down now. Th that's good to see, though. You touch on some important things. I move on and carry on with the lecture as intended. A couple people from Engage, at least. The recu- the relu- blah blah blah. Leaves me feeling worried, though. Taylor- oh, Taylor, don't be a biatch. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna edit this out. Just gotta go get a drink of water. Okay, I'm back. It is going to be really that hard to engage them. I thought my choice in reading material would help. At that, uh, at the least. I deeply worry that I'm not cut out for this. Lunch hour. Hey, Is, can I ask you a sort of weird question? This is a private conversation between well, it's not really private because I'm looking. Ariana and Isabella. Okay. Um, the class files impatient. Oh, the class files out impatiently. The instant the lunch bell rings, I lean over to get out my packed lunch. When I sit back up, I see a set of students waiting. Not everyone is in a rush. It looks. Hey, excuse me, Mr. Rook. How can I help you? Do you mind if we eat our lunches here? It's what we used to do with our old homeroom teacher. No, in the cafeteria? Question mark. LOL. Yeah, right. Sorry, sir, but have you seen the cafeteria? It's a miserable hole. Hideous. So noisy you can't even hear yourself think. It's really bad. Yeah. It's just your. It's just incredibly unpleasant. If it's a problem, we understand. But. No, no, not at all. Of course you can't. I just never thought of it. Thank you. Aw. Thanks. Not at all. Just don't make a mess, and it won't bother me one bit. Of course, okay. Aw, uh, look. She, he's... Wait, oh, my bad. She's smiling. Easy, bro. It's cool. You don't gotta be white knight on my part, Taylor. It's pretty simple. We broke up. End of story. Oh. Okay, I think I can tell them apart because girls are wearing skirt skirt skirts and guys are wearing belts belts. Okay. I go back to my lunch and all three of, all three of them take a seat near each other. I can conceivably try to avoid listening in on their conversation, but... It will be a challenge. So level with me, Charlotte. Don't. No, for reals, I'm serious. Uh, Maker, don't bring it up. Come on, Kendall is my bro. I would like to know. 
what's going on with her? I'm sure he, she doesn't. It's fine, Bella. Why has everyone assumed that just because we fought? Oh, she's a lesbian? I don't ever want to speak of her ever again. She's still my friend. Oh, so why are you avoiding her? We just need some time apart right now. That's all. There's no drama. It's over with. Have you ever been in love? Question mark. Oh, she's lesbian too? Well, why? But she's just hiding it? Um, well, don't tell Taylor that. Why? How is it any of her business? Uh, lol, do you really think that matters to her? It's Taylor. She's been trying to route her the harness nest on Amy. I don't really get what that means. You're right. That is a weird question. But yes, I have. I don't know if I'm the best person to talk about, to ask about that. Though it never worked out for me. Didn't I tell you about that? Anyhow, why did you ask? Well, let me tell you, from the first hand knowledge, I don't think it's going to work, which is good, because Kendall, when she's upset, is it's not fate I wish on even Taylor. Okay, so I think I know what's going on. She's lesbian, she's a loner, he's pretty cool. Uh, lol, fair enough. I mostly try to avoid looking up at any time any of the three students. I feel like an awkward interlooper. I've forgotten how ridiculous high school drama could be. Taking a sip of my water. <sighs> well, will they be like this for the whole year? Question mark. Oh, three messages. Sorry, no, you never told me about that. What happened? Did he turn you down? Oh, okay, so she's in love with someone. I don't know who, but I think it's this guy. Alright, uh, I'm sorry, I just assumed something was wrong, given what I've been hearing. Are you two alright? LOL, yes. Oh, Kendall's a girl, not dude. Oh, okay, so Kendall was in love with this girl right here. Probably now I think of it. It's just been a long time, and it seemed to so reasonable when I was their age. I probably have to keep an eye on Taylor. I don't know who Taylor is. And also, whatever is going on between those two girls. Mr. Rook? Uh, yes? How are you finding it so far? Our school, I mean. Not too disappointing, I hope. It's going to take some time to get used to. To be truthful, here have you been... Have you been here since grade 9? Oh, huh, should check on this. Yes, I have, but I understand. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna check the bottom. Cool story, sis. Pro tip, we're not the end. That's all I have to say. No, not exactly. It's a long story, really. I don't understand what's wrong with those two lesbos. I just express some concern and Kendall flips the hell out on me. She doesn't have to be such a bitch. Just saw your response to Taylor. Nice. You're pretty much uncontrollable. I don't know what she thought you would be a good target. Taking a sip of my water. The two of us make small talk for a bit, about first days of school and the such. Oh my god, how many people are messaging? Okay. I had no idea. Do you want to talk about it? If not, I understand, of course. The other two doesn't, don't seem to say anything, whether it's shyness or because they're too busy sending messages to other students. I can't tell. It might be both. Oh my god, kiss these days. 
I wasn't target. It was Charlotte, and it's probably oh going to work. Should probably say everything's cool, but I'll, it'll crush her inside. What a bitch! It's not really just as simple as saying "lol, you mad," and then letting her go fuck off is going to hurt Charlotte. Trying to shut her down is basically all I can do. Raging pretty hard, but what else can I do? Sad face. I don't understand what's wrong with those two lesbos. Ah, uh, man. I just expressed some concern. Oh, I read this. It sucks, but you know, it's scandal. She always likes this. You really shouldn't have expected her to do anything but flip out on you. It's what she does. Any more messages? Alright. Oh, my God. I would be happy to talk about it, but it's a long story. Not a very interesting one, but a long one. If you really care, we can talk about it some other time. If you want, but now's not the best time. What's up with you, though? I'm sure you have a reason for asking. Come on, I know you. Who do you want advice about? Ooh. Eventually, alright. That night. Oh, this is my crib. Okay. Don't laugh, but yes, I'm pretty sure I do. Oh, so this is my crib. Why do I still have an old computer? Isn't this 2027? Come on, get up with the trends. Alright, it's my second day on the job, and I don't know what to think of all this. What is that? Is this really a PC? What? Uh, I thought 20, I thought Apple or Mac will make something better. Like, one of those little hard drives that are shape of your fingertips, you know? I turn to what I can do, which is reviewing my lecture notes for tomorrow. It's probably my own fault for not being engaging enough. I have to try to do better. That's all I can do. The next morning. Having nothing better to do, I stuck around in the classroom, even before the school day has technically begun. I'm reminded of when I was in high school, I was usually the first one in the room, then two. I guess not much, I guess not much has changed since then. <sighs> it doesn't take long before the first student comes in, and I'm not surprised when I see who it is. Charlotte, why, why she have a jacket? Good morning, Mr. Rook. Of course it would be her, wouldn't it? Hi, Charlotte. I guess the thing to do would be to make small talk. Lovely weather, is, isn't it, today? For now, I guess. It's supposed to rain later, though. Didn't you know? Oh, shh. I mean, shoot. No, I, I didn't realize. Should you check the weather report? Yeah. Well, how do you get here? I walk, well, maybe I'll stop by the time I have to leave. Better hope so. Well, I'm mentally kicking myself for not checking before I left. Another girl walks in. That's a girl? What? Hi, what's up? Oh, it's Kendall. She barely even looks up and definitely isn't expecting the answer. She just disappears to her desk, not even making eye contact with Charlotte, and stares at her computer. I keep chatting with Charlotte, and eventually, the rest of the class starts to file in. <sighs> Later. Another thing that is used to great effect is the story within a story. You might even argue that it's meta- oh, metafictional, that is that it's a story about stories. Oh, I got some messages, okay. Um. Wait, wait. Wait, is this yesterday? You know... Oh, okay, um... You know me too well. I'm well... It's kind of embarrassing, actually. It's just that I have the biggest crush on this guy. Like, for serious. I really feel like I need to just follow my heart and make a move, even though I barely know him. Does that sound crazy to you? Ah, huh, who she's talking about? I think it's, um... Is that guy? The, the green sleeve guy. Um, gee... 
You don't mean who I think you mean, do you? Don't laugh, but yes, I'm pretty sure I do. LOL, sorry, it's just kind of funny, but don't worry about it. I think you're absolutely right, and there's no question the dude is hot, and he seems smart. Is it me? If you're into him, I think you totally should. What's the worst that could happen? You get shot down? Come on, you're a cute girl. He's an... Oh, it is me. Oh. What do you think he's going to say? You're totally right. Okay, I'm going to do this then. I'm going to dress up super nice. I'm going to make an excuse about talking about the book. And then I'm just going to confess how I really feel. Thanks, Is I really need your vote of confidence there. Oh, okay. What do you think? Do the details of the story being told by the four girls matter? Or is it just there as a filler detail? I look around and raising her hand is Ariana. Oh, I think of I think I know why. My mind instantly goes to the worst place. I'm not comfortable with this crush of hers at all. Not that I can acknowledge it in any way. What can I say anyway? Go ahead, Ariana. I think the details are extremely important. They reflect on the story as a whole. So can you like learn what's really going on from them? Good, that's valid. And also, they're important because they're written by the characters. You can learn a lot about someone from how they write. Yes, that's also very good. Do you have any examples? She goes on completely dominating the class discussion. But it's clear she engaged in the material at least, so I can hardly shut her down. I'm glad she's taking it seriously at least. Oh no, bell's ringing. Eventually, the bell, the lunch bell rings, and the class starts to file out in a hurry as ever. Staying behind is the same group as yesterday. Oh, not, no, not quite the same group as yesterday. Oh, okay, Mr. Rugg might be cute, but he sure isn't... Bitch, shut the fuck up. He didn't even check the weather report before leaving for school. He's going to get soaked walking home without an umbrella. No, not quite. Okay. Wow, ah, nice dress. Excuse me, Mr. Rook. Yes? I have to go buy lunch now, but you can... You know how you said you're always available to talk, alright? Oh, shit. Yeah, what's up? I... Could I stop by after class to talk about the book we're doing? There's some things I still don't think I'll get, so I would like to go over them more. Yeah, I highly doubt that's really why, but I can exactly say no, can I? I did promise. Sure, of course you can. Come by at around 4. We'll talk about what's giving you trouble. Oh, message. <laughs> You look great. I love that dress. The blue is perfect. Knock him dead. Ah. Thanks, Mr. Rook. I'm looking forward to that. Meanwhile, the other three are chatting away, just like before. I'm just left on my own to worry about how I'm going to deal with Ariana. Maybe it'll just go away. She'll get over it. Yeah, of course. That's it. Schoolgirl crushes are always fleeting. So how are things going with you two? Good. Oh, well, you know. 3.55 p.m. Oh, five minutes away. That's it for the day. Well, as far as classes go, anyway. Sure enough, Charlie was right. By the end of the day, it started to rain. Ariana's probably on her way to my office. But before I go, I should take a break to see if there are any new 12 channel posts. Uh. Has anybody tried playing Magical Love Adventure 2? Pretty awesome visual novel. <laughs> this new porn game is not porn. Porn. So what char kind of character is it about? The most of uh, was... Oh, yeah. Porn. Sex. Sex. Characters. Porn. Born. Fuck a 15 year old. 
I wonder if that is really a game. Not that I would really want to download it. Come on, I did. LOL, LOL. LOL, LOL. That's the 12 channel post. Well, that's enough drawing from me. Time to go. Hi, Mr. Rook. Hi, Anna. Why don't you have a seat and we'll talk about what you were having trouble with? She sits down, crossing her skinny legs with exaggerated motion. It's a pretense, of course. I know she definitely knows it, and I feel deeply uncomfortable going along with this. We, of course, do discuss the novel as she requested, and she does ask the right questions. But it's obvious that's not why she's here. Even if she's hadn't men mentioned to it to ah blah blah Isabella, I would have noticed for sure. It's not just the way she's trying too hard to care about the book or the link of her dress. Every time she asks questions, she leans forward, filling with the end of her hair with the, her long fingers. I know, of course. Every time she's waiting for an answer, she puts her hands on her knees and, with a smile, rubs one of her bare, smooth legs against the other. I know this, of course. Every time I speak, she stares just a little too deeply back with those dark young eyes. I know this, of course. Despite it having ever happened once in my life before, I have absolutely no doubt in my life she is trying to seduce me. I have to wrap this up. I have to end this now, and I definitely have to get out of here now. I move getting ready to stand up. She follows my lead. Okay, well, it's starting to get late. Do you have any other questions about the book? No, I don't think that's all for now. Wait, I, I think that's all for now. I definitely do have a better understanding now. Thanks so much for the help, Mr. Rook. Oh, it's nothing. I'm glad to help. I mean it. I really want you to know. You seem like a great teacher, and I appreciate that a lot. I really like you. Oh, damn it. Here it comes. Here it comes. Can I get out before she managed to clarify that into a confession? Ah, well, I'm glad anyway. I should get going. It was good talk to you. I get up and get all the way to the door. Could it be that I can avoid it getting awkward after all? Likewise. I just have to say goodbye. I'm gone. Problem solved. Just have to say. Say, Mr. Rook. Aren't you going to take your umbrella, or did you not bring one? Ah, uh, shit. She's good. She's got me. I know exactly what she's going to say if I tell the truth. What should I say? Lie about it. Tell the truth. If I lie and say I have an umbrella, which I don't, she's going to be like, where's your umbrella? Okay. No, I didn't realize it was going to rain. I didn't think to bring one. That's okay. Why don't we walk together, then? We can share mine. And there it is. I don't... Come on, you don't want to be caught in a storm, do you? You would get soaked, probably. Get sick for once. Really, it wouldn't be a problem. Rationally, I know better. Rationally, I know I plan to shut her events down to be a more mature adult. And just not even give her a chance. Rationally, I know that you can, can't get sick for being out in the rain. Rationally, I know that following along with her plan would be irresponsible of me. Rationally, I know that's wrong to find how she's managed to catch me so perfectly off guard, charming in any way. Oh my god. Rationally, I know I should say no. Oh. Alright, so you actually uh, live around here, blah blah. I guess it turns out I'm not good at acting rationally as I like. Yeah, I just live, I just, wait, just a few blocks away, actually. Oh, have you been here long? Only a week. Actually, I didn't move into the neighborhood once I got the job here. Oh, I see. So, do you live alone? Come on, don't ask that. Yeah, for several years now. I leave that hanging as a reminder of how old I am. I've been divorced, kid twice. With any luck, she'll pick up on that. Oh, well... That must be nice, having things all to yourself. As she says that, she moves in even closer than she was before, so I can feel her arm pressing against mine. So much of having any luck. Well, it's not... Well, it's not always so bad. That's not honest at all. It's a lie, the biggest lie. I hate living on my own. It's lonely. It's soul-pushing. 
Ugh, it's terrible. It's always so bad. <clears throat> oh, God. And that's when I make my mistake. I look back down at her. I make eye contact. And she just responds with the biggest grin. She's happy now. She's so happy. I can tell and all I can think as I look at the poor kid is that I know that only thing she's thinking of right now is me. It's it's one hell of a thought. I look away and we keep walking down the street, but it's too late. I've humored her. I've gone along with her and I practically acknowledge it to her now. She just babbles away happily and I realize there isn't going to be an easy way out. This crush of hers isn't something that I can ignore it and it'll go away. After what feels like the longest walk home ever, finally we arrive at my building. This is me, thanks for the umbrella. I have to do something and it has to be now. Okay, it's not a problem at all, though. I really enjoy talking with you a lot. Well, dot dot dot. Actually, there's um some there's something I would like to tell you. All around us, rain pours heavily. My stomach sinks, and then she takes my hand with her, squeezing with those delicate fingers of her. Despite the rain, still there is so soft to touch. She smiles sweetly at me, getting ready to confess to me, and I realize with horror, as that girl prepares with her short dress with her surprisingly deep eyes with her unsubtitled flirting with delicate grip. With all those things standing right in front of me, I realize in spite of myself, I'm becoming just a bit hard. I have to do something now before she said, pull her hand off, squeeze her hand tightly. Okay, everybody, that was Don't Take It Person, Babe. It's just a, your story. I'll leave a little link if you guys want to play it. Uh, there's about many chapters. Uh, so, yeah. I'm going to leave that cliffhanger hanging. So, yeah. Bye.